Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial series based around OMZ2. I'm going to be showing you some of the basic mods that you need to have for the game, how to install them and how to take your OMZ2 to the next level. Let's get into it. So first things first, the most basic step is finding your OMZ2 directory. Now if you've been playing the game for a while you'll know this basically off by heart but anyone new you might not. So there are two ways to find it. The first one you can start on your Steam page. Go into the settings over here, properties, install files and just click browse. And here you're in your OMZ2 directory. However, if you are going through File Explorer, there may be a few directories your game may be in. If you have it installed on your C drive, it will be C, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common and then OMZ2. However, I don't have it installed on my C drive, I have it on my F drive, which is basically the same, but it's just Steam library, Steam apps, common and then OMZ2. And this is your OMZ directory. So the OMZ directory is where all of the files for the game are stored. So they're all in these uh, helpful subfolders. So you've got vehicles, trains, you know, all of your files are in here. And this is where we are going to be installing all of our mods in today's video. So keep that open on a separate window. I actually have a shortcut on my desktop for this, so you can make one. But yeah, so we're going to keep that open and we're going to get to modding. Right, so the first thing to do is actually download the mods, because without downloading them, you obviously can't install them. So for the UK OMSI mods, the best website is here, Fellows Film. I'll leave a link in the description to this. It's really easy to use, you just need to make an account, it's completely free, and then you can start downloading things. So on the first page here, you've got forums, media downloads, you've got all the new posts. We're going to go to the download section today and here you will see all of the recent uploads that you can download for your game so if we go over to the sides here click on the drop down fonzy we've got repaints maps dev kits map mods buses bus mods hof files scenery resources utility software and other so in this first episode i'm just going to show you how to get started with a bus and a map the two most simple things to install so head over to maps and we've got, as you can see, quite a few maps here. So we are going to install, I think we're going to install Cotterall today. So we just click Cotterall here. Once you're logged into your account, you can just click download. But you can see required downloads. We need this bus as well. So, this map will work without this bus, however, you won't have any AI buses, it would be a completely, you know, blank map, just you driving. Now, Cotterall is one of the more simple maps to install, it's what we call like a one-click install, where it's just one file, you just have to install it, you don't have to have any other requirements. So, just click the download button up here, and this will pop up here. Now, before you start, you may need some kind of unzipping software. Personally, I use 7-Zip, but there's plenty of different alternatives out there. There's 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you want to use. I'll leave a link in the description to 7-Zip. So, you just simply go on their website, just press the download button for Windows 64-bit, and it will run you through that. So this just makes our life a lot easier. So once this is installed, or downloaded, sorry, we're going to open it up. And here you'll see we've got some pictures, we've got an extra HOF file, a readme. One thing, always read the readme. No matter what you're installing, read the readme, it will help. So if we open this up quickly, you can see it shows you how to install it, shows you all of the EULA and stuff like that. So we're going to open up this OMSI2 folder and here are all the files that we're going to be installing. So we're going to go back to our OMSI2 directory like we had earlier, which is here, it's got all our files. And a general rule of thumb, whenever you're installing something, the files 
basically it's a simple click and drag so we drag all of this into here you want to make sure that the files you're dragging from the zip file over here match up to the ones in your directory so you can see we've got vehicles there and vehicles there trains there and trains there ticket packs there and ticket packs there if you're installing an omsi2 folder for example and you can see there's no omsi2 folder actually in this directory you're probably installing it to the wrong place so all you're going to do is highlight all of these click drag and drop them into your directory so this will unzip them all it will extract them and put them into your game now this should go a bit quicker for you i've already got this installed so it will come up saying something along the lines of like uh i'll just wait and see what it comes up with actually um so yeah it's copying them all from the zip file to the directory and it will say i need to replace the files that's fine it shouldn't do for you guys but I've already got this installed, so you just click replace if it does. And you can see it's all transferring over now. And there we go, that is Cotterall installed successfully. You can just double check by going into your maps folder. And then you can see at the top there, Cotterall has been installed. So you go back to your OMSI2 directory. We can close this zip file now because we have finished with it. And we can install the bus. So this is the City Bus 400R, it's based off the Enviro 400, once again free to download, uh, it's on the page for Cotterall. So just hit the download button, same as we did before, wait for it to install, uh, download sorry, and then we will install it. So these are the two sort of buses that you're going to want for, or well, this bus and this map is basically what everyone starts with. So we open this up, you can see we've only got two fonts and vehicles files and we've got vehicles here and fonts up at the top. So we just click, drag and drop in. And that is installed again, I've already got this installed so it'll ask me to replace them but we can just click replace. And there we go and there's also a readme so if you get stuck with the bus then you can just read it obviously there you go yeah so that is the map and the bus installed now if we go into omsi and we launch it we will be able to see cotterall in our maps list however you might not be able to see cotterall in your maps list obviously omsi is not the world's greatest software ever so Actually, I'll just demonstrate once we're in the game. I'll quickly pause the recording and then I'll see you once the game's loaded because it can take a while. And here we are back in the game. So, you will probably see that you'll load up either onto one of the default maps or any other map you have installed. So, to find Cotterall, as you can see at the moment, we are clicked on the load latest state of map. However, as we've just installed the map, we haven't played it before, there won't be a latest state actually made, and so it probably won't appear in your in your list. It does for me, but I've already installed it. But if it doesn't show up in your list, and this applies for every map, just click load map without buses here, and then it will come up in your list there. So there you go, we've got the picture, we've got the description, we can change the time and the date and stuff. Click start and then I'll show you around the Enviro 400 quickly and you can sort of see what that's like and see how we drive it. So yeah, let's get this loaded. Right, so here we are in game. Uh, I hope it's loud enough um, and I hope it's not too loud. So under manufacture it will be under London City Bus, which is here. Now I'm going to have loads of extra buses and liveries and stuff, you don't have to worry about that. Um, I actually can't remember what liveries the Enviro 400 comes with, but it will be under type, it will be under C400R, so you've got the Dewa, the Eco Life, the RX. So we'll just pick Dewa which is one of the variants of E400. Under appearance, you've got, you won't have this many, but 
I just do. Uh, we'll pick first Olympia for now. And Depot, we'll pick Cotterill. So this is your hot file. This is what destination is you want to use. Pick Cotterill. Hit OK. Spawn in at the bus station. And that should spawn our bus in for us. So the Cotterill is actually quite a small map. But it's quite an enjoyable one. And it's a nice one to sort of get used to on the with. So here's our bus as you can see and I'll just give you a little look around so head into the interior yours won't say Alexander Dennis was pretty say London that's just how it is so press E turns on the electrics make sure you're in neutral so end on the keyboard or you can press the button down here hold down to start the bus so now the bus has started we can go over to our alt menu here turn on directions if you don't know where you're going you can click the timetable button and set yourself a timetable, so the only route is the U18. You can see we've got plenty here. So we are at the bus station at the moment, so we're going to be wanting to go towards University. There you go, 10.50. We'll set that, that'll displace the AI bus. We'll set on our destination display, University and U18. This one will show on the outside of the bus. That. You can also do it through here, but I'm, to be honest, not sure myself how that really works. Press D to go into drive, handbrake off, and you can drive around to the bus station and start your journey. You can also turn on the lights. You've got climate controls don't work in this, unfortunately. You've also got a ticket machine, quite a basic version of the London one, so adult, single, student, child, all of that lot. Like that. And you've got the cash tray down there, you've got your um, duty card there, which shows your schedule. You also press Shift Y to see your timetable in the top left and some other little bits about the game. Turn into the bus station here, you can see all the people waiting for us. Might get a bit laggy here as the game's loading and a lot of stuff. Stop there, let everyone on. And there you go. So that is just the very basics of modding in OMSI 2. Uh, I do hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, then please do leave a like. There will be more of these videos coming shortly, so don't you worry about that. We'll take a deeper dive into some more of the complicated stuff and maybe making your own mods. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.